turn for a moment to where things are today. So uh, Michelle, let's start with you. You talked about the, the ramp down, the ramp up starting last May. Sort of what's the status quo or the status for research at Children's of Philadelphia right now? So we're currently at 75%. Uh, in order to um, comply with the physical distancing uh, guidelines that have um, been established by Research Institute leadership, um, we have given our research uh, teams the ability to ramp up at 75% occupancy within their labs. So we, um, you know, we're, I expected to hear a lot more um, uh, concern raised by faculty expressing the dire disruption that the pandemic had on their research program. And again, the, the impact uh, runs a gamut of significant to not as significant. And to be honest, I really expected to hear a lot more, um, I'll call it noise, about how disruptive the ramp down was to research. I know that it had um, a greater impact on our students. And so for students that are, you know, their, their work is very time sensitive. They need to get through their program and now a two months, three months of, of not being able to be actively in the lab has been extremely disruptive to our students. Um, our more senior, uh, I'll say senior research faculty who have several decades of research under their, under their arm uh, um, and a much larger portfolio was able to weather the storm and still come out and be able to continue on with, with their work. Um, but I would say our junior faculty, those who are really still in the process of establishing their research footprint, they're trying to build their labs up, bring in students, um, that has had a pretty, pretty um, the, impact, the, the impact of the pandemic on that population of our workforce has, um, has had a very um, varied impact. Um, and I would say as far as administration is concerned, we've been able to maintain our ability to continue to work and support our faculty and the uh, researchers at Children's Hospital um, without incident or issue. We had some hiccups in the beginnings, uh, I'd say uh, around the IT space, but those issues were readily um, uh, and immediately addressed. And we're, we're I think we are, we're very clear and it's very obvious that um, we are going to start having more deep discussions about transitioning um, many of our non-location critical teams to working remotely. And now we're endeavoring, what does that look like and how do you navigate that? And so we're still in the early stages, but a lot of discussions happening um, with the higher forms of leadership in HR, the Research Institute and the hospital. Thank you. One follow-up, if I may, you, you mentioned 75% occupancy. Do you have a sense that most of your faculty, now that you're at that point, are able to adjust the way their teams work so that they're maybe not optimally productive, but reasonably productive in terms of actually getting science done? Yeah, so we have, um, you know, what we found our number, of, in order to accommodate and, and be in compliance with that um, mandate, our faculty have become very creative in trying to figure out how to schedule teams um, to come in. So if a team would normally be in the office for, you know, typical work day from nine to five and maybe have a rotation team that would come in in the evenings, depending on what experiments were going on, what they had to do is really stretch out the uh, work schedule for um, the techs, coordinators, uh, managers that work in the labs. And so um, we have people technically working 24 seven. We have a 24 seven or 16 seven schedule going on to enable um, one or to facilitate the ability to be so, to social dis socially distance, um, but also to keep the research going. And so um, it, that's had different impacts because in a hospital setting, we, in addition to overtime, we also have shift differential pay, which was not something that research uh, researchers had to really um, 
deal with prior to the pandemic, but because they need their staff to be accommodated in hours or to work in hours that are outside of the traditional work schedule, they now have to pay the shift differential, which is um, does have a financial impact on, on our researchers, but um, they've still been able to weather that uh, despite um, you know, the financial uh, uh, consequences because the research needs to be done. So we've been able to get through it. Must have been a fun all allowability discussion. It was fun. Yeah, lots of fun. <laughs>